chapter 40. He who saves others will be saved himself. The lion and the mouse. The lion, king of the jungle, was dozing after a heavy meal. As he stretched out his paw, he seized a tiny mouse. The mouse cried desperately, Oh, mighty king lion, please let me go. If you spare me now, I will never forget your kindness. In your moment of need, I'll be sure to repay you. The lion laughed out loud. I don't believe I'll ever need help from the likes of you, he said. I'm full now, so I'll spare your life. Now go, he said, and roared haughtily. The mouse thanked the lion over and over and left. Moments later, as the lion was roaming the forest, he fell into a large snare. His legs and neck became entangled in the net, and the harder he struggled, the more tightly the rope choked him. Soon he was hardly able to be soon he was hardly able to breathe. The mouse whose life had just be the mouse whose life he had just spared heard what was happening and came running to help. Oh great king, he said, I will now save your life. Then he gnawed through the ropes and set the lion free. Things are not to be measured by inches, for even a tiny mouse may help a mighty lion. As we live embraced with kindness, there's no knowing when we too may receive a great favor. We ourselves must render kindness at all times and spread compassion over all things. So, yeah, it's a, it's a fairy tale. So, lion and the mouse is an uh, analogy of a human being. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Sometimes we feel like a lion, or sometimes we may feel like a mouse. Tiny, tiny existence. But we are all surrounded and embraced with kindness from others. So we are blessed with many types of happiness or we receive support from people around us. And we are not aware of them, all of them. Some of them we are aware, but uh, some or most of them we are not aware or we are not paying attention and maybe we take it for take them for granted that's not a good attitude we should always remind ourselves that we are embraced with people's kindness uh, no matter how high our status might be or how wealthy we might be. Still, we are receiving kindness from all directions. So this sentence, uh, it, it resonated with me, especially as we live embraced with kindness. There's no knowing when we too may receive a great favor. <clears throat> Actually, there are a lot of such anecdotes uh, somebody's kindness returned to him or her after a few decades. Uh, there is always such person who never forgets the kindness from others and they, who try to return it with uh, uh, his own way. So <clears throat> sometimes our kindness will come back to us with a lot of interest. So at the beginning, it, it can be a very small kinds of small type of kindness. But after many years, that kindness will come back to us with a big 
interest, which means uh, with a big happiness, like a form of uh, big amount of money sometimes, or uh, just, uh, mm, I don't know. Yeah, there are a lot of forms of happiness. But anyway, a co good cause always produce good effect, and bad causes always produce bad effects. Even after many, many years, the law of cause and effect is always operating. So the seeds sown will never fail to grow. That's why we should always keep planting seeds of happiness and uh, forgetting, uh, while forgetting about the result. Sometimes the result may take many decades to come back. Sometimes it will come back really quickly. So we should not worry about the result, but instead we should worry how much, how many seeds we can plant every day. If we focus on planting seeds, then the rest is uh, uh, guaranteed. We will have a season of harvesting a lot of thousandfold crops. Okay, so that's all about today's story, and uh, that concludes today's recitation, meditation, practice. Uh, good job, everyone. Uh, have a good evening and a good, good e morning. <laughs> See you next time. Bye, Yuchi. Bye, Hannah. Thank you, Yuchi. You're welcome, Rick. See you next time. Bye-bye.